Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this new video, I'm going to show you how you can set up events inside of communities. Yes, it is now possible to schedule events on the desktop version as well as inside of the mobile app. So now let's say you're running a coaching organization and you have different groups and different communities and different courses you're selling. The first course you're selling is a low ticket course, which gives people a mini transformation, for example, how to launch your first product, right? These people have a separate container. These people have different problems to talk about. Therefore, you need to schedule different events to talk about these problems, right? Versus another group where people are trying to get from 100K to 1 million, for example, these people have different problems to discuss. They are facing different challenges. So you want to make sure that you create two separate events for those two types of groups, which you then can also make visible for this particular group only. Let me show you how that looks like. So first you want to click on memberships on the left, communities, and then groups at the top. You can see the group is already showing up. Let's log in. And here's our demo group. And at the top, you see a new tab, which is events. Click on that. And here you can see an event calendar showing up. At the top, you can change it between week or months. It's set to months right now. You can also switch it to weeks, for example. This one I'm going to talk about in a minute. So let's create a new event. Let's call it, this is a demo event. Let's keep it orange. Times are perfect. Time zone is perfect. Let's say it's a recurring event because we're meeting our students every single week, okay? Repeats every Monday. It never ends because we have an ongoing coaching organization, like, like we're selling courses and coaching all the time, right? You can dictate your location ID. So this can be Zoom link, a Google Meet link, or even another another link. You can just put um, a link address here. If it's a live event, you can even put a Google Maps link, for example. Um, for Zoom, you can also use a static link. I would suggest that. A static link is basically the same link every week for the same event. You can get your your static link inside of your Zoom account desktop version. Then you can add a description. You can also choose to hide location from non-attendees so they don't just show up and, you know, rock up without registration, for example, so you can track your numbers. Right here, you can add an image. And here, this is what I was talking about, right? Who can attend the event? Maybe you want to run a free event in your free group so everyone can attend, right? Maybe you want to encourage people to level up inside of the groups. Remember, there's different levels, which means if people engage more inside your group, then they level up. Basically, it's kind of like a gamification feature. So you can choose, hey, only members at level two are allowed to attend. So it really encourages people to level up and to increase engagement in a group again, right? Or you only want members of a specific course to attend. The example I named at the beginning of this video, only the people who are in the group who are learning how to launch a product, for example, right? Or only members of a private channel. So if you have a channel for your managers and you want to have a weekly meeting on a Monday and discuss problems of the company, for example, why is our support chat, uh, you know, being over flooded with tickets or you talk about allocating budgets for different things, things like that. So if you have a private channel for specific people, you can select that. Let's keep it at all members for now. Let's hit next. And here you can decide is this event a free event or is this event a paid event? For now, let's choose free. Hit create event. And here you can see our events showing up, repeating every single week on a Saturday and this one every single Monday, right? Remember, because we selected recurring events. If you wanted to see details again, you just click on the event. You can see the image. You obviously want to format it properly to the right size. You can see the location set to others because I didn't put any location. You can see it's a free event. You can see the description. And here we can add it to our Google Calendar. So it exports the event into our private calendar, basically. If you want to edit it, you click the edit button. If you want to delete it, you click the delete button, right? Let's hit edit. Let's say, for example, we change the color to yellow, right? And then hit next. And let's actually just make it paid for now. So you can see that too. So let's say the price is $10. The currency is USD. That's good. And we can actually also test it. So let's turn that on. Let's hit save event. And it asks you, do you want to change only this particular event to a paid event? Or do you want to change this and the following events? It's the same as you would make changes to a Google calendar, right? Let's say this and following events. Let's hit okay. And you can see the event has been changed to yellow. That's awesome. Let's click on that again. Now now you can see it has changed to ten dollars to register okay now we can click add to calendar then our calendar pops up it pulls the name of the event it pulls the exact date and time when it starts and when it ends and that it repeats weekly on a monday and then saturday all you gotta do is click save right here and it shows up in your calendar so now here we are logged into the Colab app, not to the Lead Connector app. So don't confuse those two. The Colab app is the communities app where you can access the community chats now, the events, the course content, and so on and so forth, right? So this is it. This is how it looks like. Um, in the middle, you can already see, hey, there is an event happening in less than an hour. So if I, as a student, log in now and I see, oh, there's an event happening, I click on it. 
Then I will see the calendar and I will see the event marked in orange because we chose the color orange earlier and you would see the details. This is a demo event, 11.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. Amazing. Okay, let's go back top left. You can also see in the top right hand corner, there is this little chat icon. This is where you access the messages and then you have the notification bell. The system telling us, hey, there is a new event that has been launched. So yeah, click back on event. And at the top here, you can see the little hamburger menu right next to the plus. So if you click that, it will show you all the events that you've um, accepted that are happening, right? So you can scroll through, you see, hey, this is happening in November. This is happening later in November, the 4th, the 9th, because it's a recurring event, remember? So yeah, you could go into all of these events and then, you know, uh, see the details, where is the location, all of that. And from here, you can again do the same thing, add to your calendar. You can select the calendar, Apple, Yahoo or Outlook, which is amazing. And at the top right corner, there's three dots. So if you wanted to edit the event or delete the event from the mobile phone, let's say you're on the go and you can't make it to the event, you can just delete it from there. And that's it already. This is how you can now use events inside the community. I hope you love this new feature and I will see you in the next video.